Hey guys, Woods Farm here, Project 222. Just back out working on the scout car. Uh, today we're going to be working on the mechanism for the turrets, so stick around and check it out. Okay guys, I talked about this at the end of the last video. We're now getting into the, the point where I'm gonna work on the mechanical stuff, the mechanism that makes the turret uh, traverse and turn. Uh, I'm not 100% how this is gonna play out. Uh, I'm pretty optimistic. I think I just have to start uh, with the hub and start working my way back and hopefully something will come together. So let's go and get into the shop and we'll get started. Before I get started on the uh, scout car for the day, I thought I'd show you guys this project. This is going to be the new project on the Woods Farm after we get the uh, 222 completed. We managed to salvage this. Not sure if we're going to do a classic Volkswagen uh, 1600 or maybe go with the Subaru engine. We're going to body panel this and make it into sort of a fast attack vehicle, maybe with a machine gun mount. Uh, it's also going to have kind of a Mad Max, a Road Warrior theme to it. So a little bit of a apocalyptic feel. I think we'll probably start this project later this winter or next year. So definitely make sure to come back to the channel and check it out. Okay, here's where we left off. Um, basically, I've got that wheel hub and the sprocket, the chain sprocket connected i had to send that away to a machine shop and have him do some work on it i just don't have the proper tooling but he made that sprocket fit over that hub and then this smaller square plate is the lower plate um the i guess pedestal will be attached to this and that will go down and attach to the floor this larger rectangular plate is what the gun mount is going to get mounted and attached to and all of the mechanism so okay one last look at all the parts assembled there is the gear that we are going to use for the elevation and that is the hand wheel got that on a swap and sell site we're going to use that for the elevation slightly larger hand wheel this came off of ebay that is going to be for the traverse some three quarter inch key stock um this was a lot more expensive than I expected. It was like 50 bucks and I could only really source a large piece, but I kind of need that. I've got some sprockets. I had to buy these sprockets and uh, this adapter. There's some more salvage sprockets and this is all gonna be part of the drive system for the Traverse. Originally, I thought I was only gonna need one, but I might actually incorporate both of these. As sort of a tensioner and an idler i've got an assortment of bearings these are three quarter inch inside diameter bearings with housings um, a couple of these are going to actually be for the gun mount for the elevation this one here is going to be for the hand wheel for the traverse and then i've just got some various uh, adapter pieces and other components i'm not going to necessarily use all of this stuff but we've got it available. Just to give you an idea where we're going with this, this arm is where the hand wheel is going to be attached to, um, more or less in this configuration. I believe instead of welding this, I'm gonna take the time and drill holes. Uh, I may even do some oblong holes so it's adjustable. Um, you can use it as a way to tension the chain and also maybe put some other holes so you can adjust the distance. Um, I'm sort of eyeballing this. I'm kind of standing right where you'd be sitting. And uh, it's kind of trying to get it in an er ergonomic position that you can actually use the hand crank. So the first things first is I'm going to work on mounting this bar. And then the next step would be to make a mount on the end of the bar for this bearing housing. Uh, so we can start working on getting that hand wheel to work.
Just to give you guys a better idea of where we're going, um, this is the large sprocket that is affixed to the lower part of the pedestal, that lower mounting bracket. This rectangle represents that upper mounting plate, and you can see here's the arm that comes out. On the end of this arm, there's going to be a bearing, and that's going to have our hand wheel, and it's also going to have another smaller sprocket. And then currently my plan is to have a sprocket here. This sprocket in this corner is going to be permanently attached in that position. And then we have our chain, which is going to go around this one just as an idler pulley, and then around the main sprocket. Up in this corner, I'm gonna have a mounting plate, and I'm gonna have a tensioner sprocket, and this is gonna, it's gonna be able to be adjusted to add tension to the chain. So the chain is gonna come up on the outside of this one and back around. Everything works correct. We're going to mount the hand wheel up here. And as we turn this hand wheel, this chain's going to move and it's going to pivot this upper plate on the pedestal. Okay, guys, here's where we're at. I've got a working prototype. Um, at this point, I'm confident it's going to work. Um, we needed to make some adjustments and I have to change a few things, so I'll point that out. Okay, first things first, um, this bar is way too long. I sort of just eyeballed it uh, where it felt good. I kind of had a seat here and I was kind of visualizing where I'd be sitting. It's way too far out, we measured. Um, we only have about 22 inches of clearance, give or take. Um, as it stands, this is probably gonna almost hit the side of the scout car. So we need to shorten that up, but that's really easy um, because I've got the slots cut into the mounting plate. This bar, I just, we just have to cut it down and drill two holes and we can shorten the whole thing up and we'll just have to take some links out of the chain. So that's pretty easy. The other problem we encountered is that when we tensioned the chain, um, it was actually pulling the sprocket over and that shaft was going, and it was going crooked. The, the bearing wasn't holding. And to solve that, we added a second bearing housing underneath and that's giving it the support it needs to keep that shaft at 90 degrees and keep everything lined up. Um, on to this, the other issue is that sprocket's a little uh, too low. Um, that kind of happened when we added this but to temporarily solve the problem, I realized I can just flip it around and it'll get the sprocket at the right height so everything is level. The other thing we're gonna do, and last night I already have the part on order, is that we are gonna go to a smaller sprocket, um, a 10 tooth, I don't know if this is like 17 tooth or 12 tooth or something we're going to go to a smaller sprocket and i uh, we're thinking that will change the gear ratio and make things a little more uh a little closer to the original right now the gear is like roughly three to one so three rotations of the hand wheel and you get a, a 360 degrees of traverse so we're going to try to get a smaller sprocket Hopefully that'll improve, so it'll actually be, you know, a few more rotations of the wheel to get your 360. I think that'll give you some added leverage, but you can see as I rotate the wheel, we move, I come back, we move back. But as a proof of concept, everything's working. If I rotate the wheel, 
the whole thing spins around. So if I go counterclockwise, you can see it spinning around. And then I'll go the other way and we spin around. We've got one idler wheel on the inside and then there's another outside one right there. This one is slotted so you can tension it and put tension on the chain. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make some uh, the adjustments I talked about. I'm gonna shorten that bar up and uh, I'm gonna do some welding and I'm gonna reinforce a couple of things. I'm not gonna show that, that's just basic fabricating. However, we are gonna move on to working on the cradle for the gun mount and maybe even the mechanism that works the elevation for that. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm going to wrap this video up here. It didn't quite get as far as I wanted to on the gun mount. Um, I'm going to continue to work on it in the next video. Hopefully we get it wrapped up. I had to kind of redesign a few things, um, look for some different parts. I think I have a good plan now of where we're going to go. So in the next video, we're going to continue and try to get this thing finished. Uh, once the gun mount itself is finished and functioning, we're going to be able to work on the pedestal and get this mounted in the vehicle and attached to the turret itself. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.